Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I just wanted to do a little bit of crafting before going to bed. Uh, I've been cleaning up my table, but there's still a whole bunch of these little scraps um, that I don't quite want to throw out. So I'm just going to leave them here <laughs> nearby and see what I can do with them. Now, one of the things that... Um, I wanted to do is um, some belly bands. Um, I like to have uh, some ready-made uh, little bits of ephemera or clusters ready to go for when I am doing, you know, some journals or what have you. And uh, among the things I did a long time ago, and this is before I was junk journaling, um, I had this scalloped circle punch and um, I punched out a whole bunch of book pages. Uh, you know, once I used up the images I wanted to use and stuff, the leftover book pages, I just uh, punched scalloped circles out of. And what I have done a couple of times, and somebody made a comment on, on my video for the Just Do It Junk Journal Challenge, is, um, let me show you. I have done a belly band and this is the journal and I did a full flip flip through in another video but just inside the first little belly band here are some certain now these are not scalloped circles these are just regular circles and they are cut out of actually wallpaper and what I did is I just uh, stacked them and then I put a piece of lace over it and then these studs and it was a belly band and um, I just had I had made it along with some others uh, such as these let me show you and these i used as paper edges where are they i know i had them where did my paper edges go here okay same thing scalloped circles but then i cut these in half and used you know half on one page and the other half on another page. Um, the other half of that. <laughs> well, it's in here somewhere. There it is. So, um, I want to make some with you to show you and see if it's something you'd like to do to kind of have ready to go, um, you know, next time you do a journal. And you can do plain ones and then embellish them later. Or you can go ahead and if you've got some hand stuff lying around, go ahead and decorate it and then you have it ready to go. So basically all we're going to do, and let me zoom in a little bit here, not that much. Sorry, <laughs> is that good? <laughs> okay, so all we're going to do is just take these circles and I kind of like to use my mat to kind of line things up, right? So then it's going to take a circle, I'm going to take a glue stick, hopefully this is a fresh one, yes, well, it works. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put some glue stick in the bottom half of one, or top, top half, I mean it's a circle, so. <laughs> now you can be careful about the way the words line up, or you can just go random and not care, that's up to you. For this time, I think I'm going to try to line up the words. And that's it. I just glued two together, approximately going halfway, okay, in. So about half the circle, put the glue in. And then about halfway, glue it in. And I'm using the, the mat to kind of stay somewhat lined up there. And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I'm not measuring anything. All I'm doing in this case is just keeping the um, the words going along. And I'm trying to use the same type of paper too. But sometimes I like to go random and just, you know, glue and um, put the paper down without too much thought. So I'm just in a little bit of a more organized mood, I guess, if you want to say that. Okay, 
But again, it doesn't even have to be absolutely perfect. Now I'm doing this on my mat, so I might be getting glued and okay. Where's my... Do I have my little wax paper thingy? Somewhere. I'm sure it's here somewhere. I can't find it now. So there we go. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I have the length, uh, the approximate length that I want, which would be approximately the length of a book page. But what can happen is this can be longer than, you know, just really long. And then I can always cut it off to size when I want to use it. Okay. And that's all there is to it. So that's approximately the size probably of a book page. Maybe I'll go a little bit taller. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, approximately nine inches. So if it was to be a really long um, book page, this would be more than more than enough. Okay. So I'm just going to pick. You could. Uh, this is the side I was looking at. That's the side I was not looking at. But you know, it looks like this has more blank space. So I can decide which one to use. Okay. So I could just say, okay, great. This is one belly band, throw it in my little bin, or I can go ahead and decorate it. And I'm going to go ahead and decorate it. <laughs> so I have, let's see. Oh, check it out. This is approximately the same size. I just happen to have this um, strip of lace because I was going to use it and ended up not using it. I don't know if glue stick will work to um, glue it here. Probably not, but let me just give it a shot. Let's go back and... Oh, there we go. It's actually attaching okay. Maybe not. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's not going to hold very well. And I'm out of my um, fabric tack. So just for now, it's actually holding on a little bit. So just for now to show you, I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. And then you can go in and do some additional embellishing with whatever you might have around. I actually have. Oh, how about this? I have these little gems. Let's see, do I have, I don't want. Too many, too big one. Oh, hey, how about this? These are self stick. Of course, it's probably a good idea to add some adhesive to them. But I'm gonna see if I have enough. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that's an odd number. So I'm going to put the big one in the middle. Okay, and then a smaller one. And I think this is the size, the next smaller one. Okay, and then another smaller one, this next size down. And this next size down. So I'm kind of, you know, making the bigger one the largest and going down on either side. And I kind of like this. It's a little shabby chic-ish, isn't it? I've never really been very good at shabby chic, but I think this kind of fits the bill a little bit. And actually, what I should have done before even doing this, but I can still do, is distress it a little bit. So let me grab my ink. And do that. And I'm just going to use the vintage photo oxide because it's what I have handy over here distress oxide and I'm just going to distress it around the edges I could have also used like a pink um, color but I didn't think of it and I'm already doing this so that's okay
and there you go you have a ready-made belly band for your, your next shabby chic journal now i'm not much of a shabby chic person but hey um maybe i'll make a journal to go with this <laughs> see pretty cool i'm just gonna stick that in my little bin of uh ready-made things and it'll be ready for me all right let's make another one um now that was my book paper i had all these scallop circles punched out of several book papers and i believe if i remember correctly i did this this was actually a while back maybe a year ago and i just felt like punching circles while watching tv and i also punched out map pages now the map pages i believe i did it on one of our trips to orlando to see the family in the car so uh, let's make one with matte paper and same thing and now for this one i'm not even going to worry about keeping it straight because they're so busy i don't think it's going to matter so i'm just going to approximately glue approximately half of it and then stick it i'm lining it up with the mat a little bit just so it's not too crooked and since I'm not really worried about lining up the uh, images, it's going a lot faster, obviously. Uh -huh, I had two together on here, which is fine. We'll just glue it here. Okay. And we're doing it about what, nine inches, three, four, five, six, seven, a couple more. Eight, nine. There we go. Now, because this one is busier, you know, map is a busier kind of design, I would probably want to put um, more solid um, type of uh, thing going down the middle. And, I mean, you don't have to do something going down the middle. I just think that brings it together nicely. Let's see, I have this. Maybe I can cut a strip of this. Let's see how that looks. If I can make it thin enough. Ah, I gotta cut a little bit more before I let me tear. Okay. I actually think I have a little bit longer strip of this, but I don't know. And it doesn't have to be fabric, it could be. I was actually thinking of doing washi. But let's just look how this looks because I actually think I kind of like that. Okay, let me see. I think some ribbon too. Maybe some green. I have this green, dark green, glow green ribbon. Maybe I like that better. Hmm. Maybe. No, I kind of like the blue. Oh stick with the blue okay it's good I think one more strip will do it okay all right hmm. I think these two are closer together nope they're not all exactly the same width okay all right I'm gonna glue this Let's see glue sticks seem to work okay for the lace let's see if it'll work with the glue stick i mean with the fabric straighten it out a little bit yeah that's a little bit bulkier in the middle let's see what else we can do i don't necessarily oh buttons right Buttons would be nice, but for buttons, because that color is kind of in the map there, let me see, can we add in the buttons some string, Let's see if this will go through, so that we can tie the string. And add a little dimension to it. 
Yes, I'm looking at. Excuse me. Okay, just threading the string through here. Ah! Pulled it. Okay. I just want to tie a little knot so that it's. I saw somebody else do it too. Because you know, I don't. I don't have any original ideas. I, I copycat most of my stuff. Well, maybe I have a couple of original ideas, but they're mostly like uh, modifications on other ideas. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So I'm just going to tie this in a knot. Okay. And see if I can do a tiny bow. I don't know. I'm not that great at doing little bows. I think the trick is you do it with a big piece of string and then you can always pull it tighter oh that's so cute there okay and there now if I should really do that three times right do that with this but I don't even know if I have any more of that string so um just gonna do it uh, I wish I had more of that string for these where did I get that string that string that string nope I don't I don't know where it is so that's okay so this is not gonna glue stick is not gonna hold this for sure let's see let's see let's see well It'll hold it for now, just for demonstration purposes. I, I know I'm probably going to have to come back in here and put a stronger adhesive on it. But for now, just to show you. And if I find more of that string, I'm definitely going to, to do it on these buttons too. But just to give you an idea of what you could do. There you go. Yeah, that's not holding at all. But there's another one. See, there's two belly bands. And like I said, I'm going to go glue it better. But there, two of them are somewhat made. Um, there you go. Now, of course, if another way to do it is if you have a sewing machine, which I do, but it's, I don't want to pull it out right now, is after you glue them and they're dried, you can sew the strip of fabric or uh, what have you on it, which I think I will do. I'm going to make another one of these and... Um, not this dark green, but I have this grow green, lighter green ribbon. Ooh, there's also Rick Rack. I think I like this. Let's, let me do another one. And then I'm just going to set that aside to sew it when I pull out my sewing machine. But see, I'm basically just super fast. Just glue on half of it. Stick it. And sorry about the quietness. I'm uh, just glad that I'm able to take a few minutes or however long this video is going to be to craft before going to bed. Everybody's in bed. I'll be sleeping. Otherwise, he'd be yelling at me to come to bed. <laughs> but there you go. So I guess, uh, let's see, three, six. Yeah, so I guess it's one, two, three, four, five, six. About eight circles, and this is, how, how wide are these? About two inch, yeah, two inch scallop circles. Circles. <laughs> so about eight of them make a nice little band. Oh, I think I like this side better. It's not as busy. No, I like the busyness. Okay, so I'm just going to take a strip of this, and I'm just going to cut it to size. And I'm just going to set it aside for when I can sew. And um, when I grab my sewing machine, I'm going to sew this down. And that'll be another nice little um, belly band like that. Okay. And let's, take, let's do another book paper one with the ribbon. I've got a lot of nice little ribbons here. And this time, I'm not going to worry about lining up the words. Um... I think what I'm going to try to do is alternate between ones that have words and the ones that are like 
almost blank like this it's almost blank and this one has words and oops i'm not being very straight okay okay and i'm not worrying about the placement either let's see how that looks okay that one's more blank that one has words That one's more blank. That one has words. It's about right. Yep. Okay, about eight of them. And let's see what pretty ribbon. Maybe a really colorful one since um, since the paper is kind of plain. Let's see. Let's see. I have this thing ribbons uh, 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 uh. Ooh. I guess I'm liking green we could do how about green polka dots ooh that's really cute uh, actually you know what hold on I just messed that up but that's okay I really like the blue the blue polka dots look at that I'm ripping this one open to use, sorry, I'm off camera, I know, but um, I just want to use that, and I don't, I know I don't need all that, but yes, so it's about that long, and when I go to sew, I can also um, use different color string if I want to add another, you know, dimension to it but just the sewing itself will, will look really pretty um, going down see in this one I sewed uh, a piece of this um, pleated ribbon that's pleated on both sides onto a piece of um, napkin collaged paper and I really like how that turned out that was another belly band in that book okay so this is ready to be sewn and how fun is that? I really like that. Just a few belly bands. So next time I do a book, I can include them in there. Okay. So I hope that has been helpful. I'm sorry that I'm not showing you that sewn and everything, but I really don't want to make the noise with my sewing machine right now since everybody's sleeping. But in just a few minutes, however long this video was, we made, let's see, two three four belly bands Isn't that cute all right actually i'm not gonna stop yet um the other idea i had now this again it's copycat of somebody else so somebody had shown how to make rolls uh, and a, a couple of people have, have done it of taking your um leftover strips right and sewing them into rolls of um, pleated ribbon paper ribbon that you can use in your projects Ugh, I'm not gonna take it out but um, basically uh, say you have a you know a strip and a neater one hopefully and you would just take uh, you know your paper and pleat it like that and on your sewing machine sew it and you have this nice paper ribbon and the neat thing that this person did is that when you run out here you can just continue by just sticking another piece of paper in there and just continuing blah 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 until you have a really long ribbon and then you can just you know kind of wrap it up in a kind of like on a spool right well i was thinking you could do the same thing with this you know i just did this only uh what about uh, eight of them long but we could also just have some and actually these i'm going to pull out a little bit less than half um it's going to be a little bit wavier that way so I'm doing these closer to like maybe a third of the way. Okay. 
And again, I'm not worrying about how uh, the words are. But this time what I'm going to do is instead of stopping at 8, is I'm going to keep going. And then what I'll have is a long strip of, in a way, kind of like a scallop circle ribbon, right? So I'm kind of alternating between uh, wordy and blanky <laughs> circles, okay? So I'm just going to keep going. And I am trying to keep it somewhat straight. And you know what? If you happened to have like a spool, like an empty spool of um, duct tape, like what you get at the Dollar Tree. I think I have one handy here. I'll show you. Um, okay. You can just cl keep gluing your strip. And then maybe wrap it around this is still has the washi i mean the the duct tape on it but you can take it and wrap it around your spool to keep it and then you've made yourself a ribbon of scalloped circles so i'm, I'm going to continue that or actually this one has the uh whoops got a little dirty that one has the um what do you call it tape still in it um, I can coil this smaller and keep it inside there. See? And I can just keep it in there. So there's another idea. You can make a ribbon out of your scalloped circles. And it doesn't have to be scalloped circles. It could be plain circles, like you saw the belly band in my llama book. And it could be even other shapes. Actually, in one of my first books that I made, I did, um, oh, I'll show you. I did the same idea using butterfly die cuts. Let's see if it's handy without me, like, destroying everything here. Where is my first? So, as part of the amazing junk journal challenge, one of the first junk journals that I made, wow, it's made out of this um, five ring binder. I made a strip of, hold on, butterflies. I hope it's in this one because I did take some pages out. There's, oh, here it is. See, these are butterflies. And it might be hard to tell because, um, you know, they're already put together. But they are butterfly die cuts that I just put, you know, I intertwined their wings. And this is obviously a um, scrapbooking paper, so it's got patterns, but it was double-sided, so I just alternated the pattern, and I just put them next to each other, this way, and I sewed it onto the page for a paper edge, you know, for, a, yeah, for an edge, and, you know, it created a different type of effect. I don't know if you can tell if they're butterflies, but it gives you that, that different effect. So those are butterflies. It could have been circles um, or any other shape that you might have. You could try it with, you know, and see how it looks. See if you like it. Let's see if I did any that with anything else. Okay. Just, um, da -da -da -da. and if you want to see a flip through of this journal, um, I did, ooh, look at that. Oh, I forgot I'd done this. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool one. <laughs> cool tag. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, here we go. He oh, no, that's just uh, stationary. That's already like that. I thought I had maybe another circle, you know, edge somewhere here, but I, I don't. All right, but I wanted to show you those butterflies. Aren't those cool? Uh, so I've done that before with uh, different shapes. Actually, I think I've just used butterflies and circles. Um so far but you know i'm willing to experiment with other shapes as well so hopefully excuse my arm hopefully this will help i don't know i, I thought it was kind of uh, a neat little thing to do just something quick 
while I have a few minutes before going to bed here. And I am going to keep working on this scalloped circle ribbon for a few more minutes. And then I am going to go to bed because it is a little after midnight already. And we have to get up early. <laughs> so, how long? See, so far, how long have we made this? So far, it's already about 23 inches. But you know what? Sorry, it's off frame. I'm going to keep going because then once it's glued together, I can just, again, just coil it up. And then when I want to use a piece of it, I can just cut, cut off a piece of it. And also, I can leave it plain like this or I can glue... Um, actually, you know what? Let me just leave it at 24 inches. It can still be coiled. Here's another thing. You can use washi tape. And, you know, washi tapes come in so many beautiful patterns and things. Th these are really thin washies. So if this was like a thinner thing, I would do that. But because it, they are wider circles, I mean, two inches, I think I can get away with using, uh, you know, wider washi that might be a little too wide or maybe two layers of washi oh look how pretty that washi is oh that's or you know what actually i don't use these um these tapes enough and i got these at the dollar tree why don't we use these and these are pretty sticky too i think not you know what i'm gonna run a strand uh i'm gonna run a strip of glue just down here just to reinforce it a little bit. But look at very 70s psychedelic type, huh? But I'm just going to glue the washi tape. And yes, I'm trying to keep it somewhat straight again. It's actually not technically washi tape. I think it's just uh, decorative tape because it's more plasticky. It's not um, paper. And I think washi is supposed to be paper. So I am just taping this and get to the end. Just gonna cut it. And there, I've added a little bit of uh, decoration to my paper ribbon. So I'm gonna leave it that long for now. It's about 24 inches according to my mat. And I'm actually going to save it inside of my, sorry for bumping the camera, inside of my duct tape roll. There, how about that? All right, uh, that's, I'm going to leave you with that for now. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you liked it and that you will have fun trying this out because I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> and I was really happy that somebody mentioned that they noticed it in my journal. So, and I apologize that I didn't take the time to check out who that was, but thank you, you know who you are. And um, I am getting a little bit tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. Have a blessed day.